their vote doesn't count. Yeah. And that's the bigger problem. And um, the other problem is the mainstream media uh, suppresses the idea of anyone who doesn't toe the Marxist line. If you, if, if, if say, for example, a candidate holds an event on Earth Day, uh, uh, it'll be reported. But if somebody holds an event related to fiscal responsibility, the media is not going to report it. It's boring. <coughs> it's extremely boring, and it's also against the raison d'etre of uh, the Marxist infrastructure. Uh, what we need to do is, um, and what I've tried to do with my website, uh, my election website, is make it interesting, funny, entertaining, um, because people have a short attention span nowadays. And you know, I put funny animations on there. Well, I, saw that. I have I have an animation of my opponent being spanked, and and web uh, voters can go on there and spank Mary on the website. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? It, people he said. The line. <laughs> yeah, but people people said to me, "Well, why are you doing that?" And I'm going to tell you, I'm getting. I would ask I, you to. Right. Me. I'm getting. I've done <laughs> very little advertising so far, and I'm getting two to three hundred unique visitors a day going to my website at jamessearsward32.com, which is amazing. Um, and people are energized and getting lots of emails saying, oh my God, buddy, you got balls doing that, whatever. And people are excited. Now, the key is taking that excitement and translating, translating it to, to the, the vote. Yeah, but the first step is to get people excited. Because, you know, Gandhi was attributed, uh, there was a famous quote attributed to Gandhi saying, um, but it actually, it's really a trade unionist used the quote, and Gandhi was misattributed. It was first they ignore you, then they mock you, then they attack you, then you win. So it's like the first exactly. <laughs> so first they ignore you, right? Yeah. So I've overcome that. I'm not being ignored. I'm being mocked now, oh, right? Okay. So, so, so I'm, I'm at step. I'm at step two. Okay. Be but once they realize there's substance behind it, then the attack will start. And that's when you step up your campaign. And then when they see you being attacked, they're like, human beings have an automatic protective response where if they see another human getting attacked, they want to help them, especially if they're the underdog. So I'm waiting for the attack to come. You oh, so, so you're counting on that. You must have a ticket skin to, to go through the well, process. Well, for sure. You have to have a thing. Oh, this, is why oh, yeah. men, this is why men are best. Um, and, and this is going to sound sexist because it is. But men are best at, at, at being in politics. I'm going to tell you why. Women take things very personally. If, she, if a woman loses a vote, she takes it to heart. Men don't. Also, politics is a very dirty, dirty, dirty field. A man can go into battle, slit throats, do horrible things in war, come home, hug his children and dog. If a woman has to do that, any femininity within her is destroyed. And I find that women that enter politics lose their soul. The Hillary Clintons of the world, even Mary <laughs> Margaret McMahon, before and after the election. This thing to no, but it's true. Before and after the election, you look into her eyes, she's glassed over. Like she, she's lost something within her because she compromised herself. Um, that part of her that is feminine. And if a woman doesn't compromise that, she can't function. Now, our, our premier can function because, and again, not, I don't mean this in an offensive way, because she's a lesbian, it's a different female constitution. <laughs> so she can, but it's true, it's true, right? And she can function uh, on a male level and do the dirty things men do, just like her predecessor, and get away with it and go home at night and sleep comfortably. You remind me of the history, the 100 year war between the England and the French. I've heard that of it. That so many uh, <coughs> women uh, in the process uh, lost their uh, faith to the God and humanity because of the number of. Yeah, the, but, of but the, it's true. Uh, because you said it's letting you. Yeah, but you know what it is? You know what it is? We live in a society here where, where we have to be politically correct all the time. And, that's, and you know what political correctness is? It's mind control. If you're told what to think, because you know the word tolerance, they changed the definition. The word tolerance, uh, to, to tolerate meant to put up with something unpleasant. So when you're tolerant, you're putting up with something unpleasant. Now, they've, all 